Well, welcome back. Uh, flow testing is a lot of work. And flow testing is, is hard work. Going and uh, baselining a cylinder head and making short changes to the port and coming back and forth and back and forth. That's something I've been doing uh, for maybe a lot longer than I'd like to admit. Trying to make your job a little bit easier. Of course, with the Flowbench products we have, we'll make it more consistent and quicker and so on. And one of the areas that people really overlook is uh, organization around the flow bench. A flow bench is just like any other machine and shop. The tooling needs to be organized. As you can tell, uh, what we have here is just a pegboard that we bolted to the front of the flow bench with some hooks and all of the Allen wrenches that we need. Uh, all of the regular wrenches we need. Uh, spark plugs. Uh, we have a couple of bins over here that we've fabricated uh, holders for the bins. So we have. Uh, some uh, fasteners for flow guides and some metric fasteners. If you're ever unlucky enough to have to flow test any of the imported four valve per cylinder stuff, we'll have one of those coming up later. We made this little stainless steel uh, shelf here. Put things on uh, when you're flow testing. And as you can tell in the back, we have all of our flow guides organized. We have a bunch of them here, and then we have a bunch of them over on the other wall. I think we have, at last count, about 53 uh, different flow guides. So try not to fight what you're doing by spending a few hours uh, organizing uh, your, your, your work area. Now, a couple, of, couple little tips as far as flow testing faster. Some of the neat things that you can do with, with the slider is this is a slider that we've modified and we've actually put a little bit of a notch in there for a valve. Okay, let me get a little closer. So when we have this particular slider, on the flow stand, we can slide the head over and we can take that intake valve out and put another intake valve in and just change the intake valve in a matter of seconds. Slide it back and reflow test. You don't have to take the head all the way off and risk disturbing something. It can be done very, very quickly and easily. One of the other areas where you can really save a little bit of time is this is the, the original valve bar that we made many years ago. It's simply for the small block Chevrolet, 23 degree. It'll work on Fords and some Mopars. As you can see versus the universal one, it simply has a hole that's set up over every valve. So to go from, from one to another, you just go ahead and stick it in, tighten the thumb screw in the back, and you're pretty much ready to rock and roll. That'll save you a lot of time. Probably would make some of these if we had a few people interested in them. A little bit quicker than the universal valve bar. The other thing that I'll tell you about is another thing that we don't make, but we have them in the shop, are these little, uh, we don't sell rather, um, we have these little step blocks. This is a step block that goes in 100 thousandths increments from uh, 100 to 700. And we have a variety of different ones. This is one that we used uh, for Briggs and Stratton. It had uh, 238 uh, thousandths lift, so we have 50, 100, 150, 200, and 228. Basically how this works, instead of going and opening up your valve to 600 or 700 or 500, where we're going to start and work down, with, this, with a step block, it can save a lot of time and improve your accuracy by zeroing out your indicator. I always want to put it on zero, so no worry. I go ahead and I open up the valve so that the indicator falls away from the thumb screw and I put my step block in where I want to start my flow, bed, flow test. So now I'm at 500 lift. When I'm done with my 500 lift number, I go ahead and now I'm at 400, 300, 200, 100. So you can get things done a little bit quicker and a little bit more accurately with these step blocks uh, by being organized. Look at modifying your, your slider if you're doing valve testing and uh, with a, a different uh, type of a, of a valve bar. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, post them please and uh, we'll get to as many as we can and uh, we'll see you in the next installment.